everyone. Welcome to Ruthie's Crafting Corner. How are you doing? Well, it's been a little while, so I thought I would do an update. Uh, finished projects. I do have works in progress. And some I haven't even touched in probably two weeks. So I need to get those worked on. But that happens. It's no rush on a lot of them. But anyhow, here is the corner to corner afghan or throw I made. I might have to stand up. <laughs> here we go. You'll get the gist of it. I have the pink like end on both sides. I ended them both like that. Let's see if I can get the other one up. There you go. And it's plenty big. If it covers me, I'm 5'2", and it's quite comfortable. And it's for either the 6-year-old or 7-year-old girl. So, the ones that I did a video of about the Knitworthy Girls is for them. And the other blanket, that's the one main finish object I made. And the other little one and I don't know how I'm going to decide who gets what. I am using the Mandala Wood Nymph color. I had three of these. I got them a year ago or something when they were on sale. I think it was at Walmart. And I am doing like a ripple stitch. Let's see if I can just hold it up so you can get the gist of the colors how they're working up. It's going to be pretty. I hesitated using this for them because, you know, it just seems a little more fine. I know it's acrylic, 100% acrylic, but the worsted yarn seems like, I don't know, it's very durable. And the corner to corner was the Premier Yarns Everyday Yarn Every Day by Deborah Norville. But this is really pretty. So I had three skeins, so I figured that'll be plenty to do for the girls. So I'll let my daughter help me decide or just wrap them both up. And whoever gets what gets that one or they can switch it or whatever. And I've been doing the dishcloth uh, a week challenge. I wanted to do that anyway. I mean, I use a lot of dishcloths. And... The last one I finished was this, and this is called the Revamped Granny Washcloth, and I just don't like how it's a little wonky. It's like more like a diamond shape, which is fine. It's plenty big and everything, so it's nice. And I have the yellow and this one. I'm not gonna remember the colors I used. I even would do my half and half scraps, but they're filling up. I've, I'm keeping up with them pretty good. I even started one, the, the one splash color I just showed you, the revamped granny, is the one for this week. But I started another one, just in case I get behind or something. And it is called, Close knit washcloth, I think. I'm just trying a couple different ones. And this is by, who is it by? Um, Pearl Soho, I believe. Anyhow, I really like that, how it's working up. Let me get that yarn away. Okay, let's see, which side am I showing you? The wrong side? Look at the right side. It's really neat. It's almost like a ribbing. I really like that a lot. So, I'll probably do this one and then go back to the traditional granny and the one without the holes. So, that's what I'm working on is the blanket and working on a dishcloth every week. And what else? Hmm. I have two bags over here, which I can get, but I haven't done anything on them. Let's see. I 
meat tube. I have my socks still in this little backpack bag. It's real cute. Still haven't done anything. I need to get on that. And let's see. Oh, this is a slipper sock. That's right. I think I messed up one of the stitches. I'm not sure. So I don't know if I want to pull it out. Just working on the cuff, cuff. and it's going to be a slipper sock. So I really need to work on these two instead of the dishcloth for the rest of this week, maybe. Mm, what else? Let me think. <laughs> I'm looking around real quick. It seemed like there was more to talk about in the yarny goodness. Um, I did order a couple needles from Knit Picks, so that's an acquisition. I got some of these cam snaps. They're still in the box. I haven't even opened them because I'm not ready to start the prep project yet but it came in a kit with the pliers the pokey tool and everything maybe I'll show that in another video next time other than that um, taking care of the kittens and I'll go into that and I'll I'll make sure I mark in the video that this is a uh, works in pro finished projects works in progress and then kitten and cat update so what just a reminder I um, Took in a stray in November. She happened to be pregnant and we didn't know so January 13th She had her babies. She had two so we're keeping them I'm not trying to find homes for them, but I am trying to take care of them and get them their kitten series shots which they had last week and they did good um the mom which her name is little one she got spayed last wednesday and i started a zoom meetup and i was afraid that i wouldn't have enough time to do the zoom i didn't want to rush so i was going to cancel it because before i had to leave to go to the appointment i had to make sure i could feed the kittens because you know they're they're weaned. They've been eating kitten food, even though they still want to nurse, but now they're nine weeks old, so they don't even need that. They eat plenty, plenty good. But, um, so I did meet up because I saw somebody was waiting for my meeting. So that was real sweet. I had, um, Sharon and Tammy join and I did tell them I was only going to do a half hour and, and had to get ready to go. And it was very pleasurable. So I went and I got her fixed and she did great. She overdid it a little bit, you know, because of the anesthesia, I guess, when she got home. Not much. She just laid down at first, but during the middle of the night, she, you know, got up on a bed and it's like, oh my Lord, you're not supposed to jump. But anyhow, over the weekend, like Friday night, I know she was swelling, so I had called the doctor Saturday at the doctor's office and they suggest I put ice and bring her in if the swelling doesn't go down so I did that I have this little medic bag it's really nice it's like a cloth and the it's insulated with a plastic bag so all the ice and everything I got crushed ice and um, took care of her and the first day she loved it it must have felt really good and then the second day it's like I don't really want that on my belly you know even I put a thin pillowcase not even a towel because I want it to work but long story short she's doing amazing I had to cancel plans with family we're gonna come over Sunday because you know she just was not feeling good and I didn't want her to stress out so I canceled plans with a couple of relatives I hadn't seen in a while and so we'll reschedule that and I have my Zoom meetup today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I went to Carla's yesterday, um, CJ Crochet, I believe. I need to start. 
I have it written down in a little pink address book that I keep, you know, my passwords and different groups and stuff in, but it's in my purse right now. But I have a list of everybody and I have it in my calendar app on my phone so I get a 15, re 15 minute reminder before the Zoom meeting starts. So if, you know, if I'm not out on the road or something doing something, then I'm gonna try to make it to the meetups. Um, other than that, if you would love to join it, you just need to download the Zoom US app and it is a safe site because when I first did, you know, did it on my computer, it's like, this is an unknown site or something and it's like, oh, I don't know. But other, you know, it worked out fine. There's no problems once you sign up and it's just a wonderful time. You get to see people face to face. You can work on your project. You, um, it's, you know, I really like it a lot. I enjoy going to live chats and everything too, but I think Zoom Meetup is a little better. You can, you know, have several, you know, people on there and it's just more interactive. It's just not me talking to you like this. So, so if you can make it, I will put information in the description below of the number you need to join in in the meeting okay so i'm going to make this short so i can get off of here and get this loaded up and put in the description the things needed for you know the zoom meetup okay well i hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for the new subscribers and all the returning subscribers and i am almost at 200 so i'll have to do something special Okay, so I won't put that in the description below. <laughs> I will not put that in the title. So I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.